What's going on YouTube, 6-5 Rider here. Coming back to you with another video. Today's video is gonna be a little different than what I usually do. As you guys can probably tell from the title of the video, this is gonna get a little bit personal. All right, let's get on the bike, hit the road, and get on with this conversation. Later. Just then. And let's go ahead and scratch that. I uh, took the bike out. You guys saw it, it was over there. Brought it back here. And uh, tried to start it, and then Notice this little guy over here. Look at that, I've never seen the battery that depleted. That's insane. Guess we'll, uh, we'll have to take the, uh, the Indian. Perks of having two bikes, right? And we are back, baby. Yeah, that was weird. Um, honestly, I haven't ridden the bike in like a week. Which you wouldn't think is a long time. However, uh, like two days ago, I washed it. And uh, I still have the Power Vision 4 on the bike. And uh, it had a firmware update, so I had to keep the, uh, the bike on the accessory for a little while. Although I had it plugged into the tender when I was doing that, but I guess that sucked some of the voltage out or something. I don't know. Anyway, I got on the trickle charger and we'll see how it goes uh, when I'm when I'm back home. But anyway, you know, thank God I am uh, I'm blessed to have two bikes. And so this is uh, just another use case for having two bikes. <laughs> so anyway, to get to uh, to our topic at hand here while I sulk in traffic. Yeah, like I said in the intro, as you guys have seen in the title of the video, this is, uh, this is a pretty personal topic for me. I don't know if I've... Uh, actually ever openly talked about it here on YouTube, but uh, I feel comfortable enough to share it with everybody. So for, uh, for those of you that don't know, um, I am a dual citizen of uh, these great United States of America. I actually uh, just got my US citizenship uh, about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. Although I've lived uh, most of my life here in the US. I've been in the US, you know, uh, ever since I was a child. And then uh, I went back home for a little bit and I came back for college. So I've been here like consistently since probably 2009 or so. And so I've been here for about 15 years now consistently and then add another five or six years as I was a kid. So, you know, being uh, how old I am right now, I spend most of my life here living in the US. And today's a great day, you guys. You know why? Because I got, like I said, I got my citizenship a year and a half ago. I've been living here in the US for about 15 years. I've witnessed about three or four elections, I'm not sure, and I was never able to participate, obviously, because I wasn't a citizen. Although I was here, you know, legally on a green card and whatnot, but I was never able to participate, and I always wanted to do that. I always wanted to have the ability to vote, because it's such an important thing for a country, and it's such an amazing right to have. And uh, I say today's an important day. And why I said this would be a lot of personal stuff coming out on the channel is because I am heading to exercise my 15th Amendment right to vote as a citizen of these beautiful United States of America. And I am super excited about it. It's not November 5th yet. However, uh, in my state, in Florida, we have early voting going on. I think you have that in a bunch of other states as well. And uh, I wanted to get out there and get it done with, you know what I mean? Because I already know who I'm voting for. The decision has been made. I know what uh, amendments I will be voting for and against. And so my mind's made up. Why wait? You know what I mean? Why wait and have to go and sit in lines and whatnot to vote on November 5th well, when I can just go ahead and do it today? And uh, to be frank with you guys, I mean, everybody should go out and early vote. This is a call to all U.S. citizens who are subscribers and who watch my channel. This is your right, man. Go out and vote. This is a right that is not afforded to a lot of uh, people in different countries where they just don't have the, the choice 
to choose who would lead them. However, in the US we do. And that's one of the most beautiful things about this country is being able to go out there and uh, express your opinion and vote for the candidate who you believe will you know lead this country greatly as personal as this video is i'm not going to get into details about who i am voting for uh, but i do encourage you all to go get out there and vote for who you believe is the right choice for our country and i believe we need it now more than ever you know this uh this is one of the most important elections that we've had in uh, in recent years here in America with all the different civil issues and wars that are happening overseas that we may or may not get involved with and it's just so important to do this. I said it's at the public library, is this it? I really wanted uh, to be on the Harley for this, you know, because uh, what better way to do this than being on a big American V-twin going to, you know, exercise my right to vote. But it's cool. This is a Made in America bike too. It's an Indian and it also has a big American V-twin with 1,203 cc's, baby! Ah, here we are. Let's go, let's go. All right, I've never done this before. This is uh, very exciting. That's the line, it doesn't look too bad. All right, I'll see you guys after I'm done. A few moments later. Well, there you have it, folks. Today was certainly a, uh, a historic day for me. Cause uh, like I mentioned at the start of the video, I've never voted before. That wasn't too bad. I mean, uh, it took me a little bit. It took me a little while. It took like 35, maybe 40 minutes, just because uh, I had just realized that it's like 5 p.m. or 5:20 or whatever when I got there, and it's like right after work, and everybody's heading there. I should have went this morning, to be honest. But in the morning time, it's like free, pretty much. You can also make an appointment here in Florida. I don't know how it is in other states, but in Florida, uh, you can uh, make an appointment. Yeah, and the people that made appointments, they like just whizzed right by everybody, which I mean, good for them. They thought I had, you know? And like me. <laughs> You know what's crazy though? I did uh, actually, I was on the appointment website and that's how I got the address to come here. And I was like, should I make an appointment? Then I was like, um, I don't know. It's like in 15 minute iterations. I'm like, I don't know. Let me just go there and see. And I got there and the line was freaking long, man. But uh, in theory, I should have made an appointment. What I was actually thinking is when I got there, I should have made an appointment as soon as I got there for like 15 minutes later. And then went up to him like, oh, acting dumb, you know, and be like, oh, I thought, you know, I have an appointment, but I sit in line, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. We got it done, baby. We got it done. I just, uh, for the first time ever, practiced uh, my 15th Amendment right, right to vote, baby. And uh, I encourage everybody out there to uh, 
uh, get out and vote as well. Anyway, hope you guys uh, enjoyed uh, this little video, a little different than what I usually discuss and talk about. So uh, yeah, hope uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I hope the camera angle is right. It's always hard to get on the Indian because I have to bring it down a little bit compared to the roguelite where I have the bars up here, you know? Uh, but anyway, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, homies, I will see y'all on the next one, man. Later.